Good everybody and welcome to another edition of MSATP TV. Joining us today is Bob Jennings with Tax Speaker. And Bob's here to tell us about the exciting lineup that he has coming up for us this fall. So Bob, you want to tell us about some of the classes that we're offering? Bill, happy to uh, happy to talk again. Of course, first we have coming up uh, in September the 23rd and 4th in Frederick, we've got the business in depth class. Uh, I just did the first recording of that this morning. Literally, Bill Leonard is doing another app this afternoon. And uh, we are kind of excited about it because, you know, the perception is there's been a whole lot of changes that have occurred. And the reality is that there haven't been as many as we expect, but it's been four years since we've had enough time to talk about and review some of the operational problem issues about, uh, about you know, operating S-Corps and partnerships and so on. So what Bill and I are finding is the interest and the questions are greater than we've ever had because we're going over stuff we haven't been able to do for four years because of all the changes. And people are saying, oh my gosh, I didn't know about that or I forgot about this or how can I use that in planning? So mm -hmm. although the, the what's new is, you know, it's always a big part. It's probably four or five hours, I don't know. But it's the other stuff. Uh, when Bill and I were talking together about uh, corporate formation, you know, you got a topic that hadn't really changed in years, but we brought in some different ideas with planning and with what's going on at the possibility of presidential changes. And uh, we expected 15 minutes and it took an hour because of the questions. And uh, we, we're finding that in every topic right now. So in the business in depth, we went in with one presumption and are coming out finding, because it's been so long since anybody has really been able to go through a lot of these rules, there's a lot of holes and a lot of, uh, as I call them, nuggets, bits of advice that we can give that, that we haven't been able to talk about in several years. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, the, uh, I don't, I know that one, September 23rd and 4th, is that the only? Uh, and we have the business update in Pikesville coming up. Okay, the one day business update, of course, that'll be aimed primarily at uh, new changes. And uh, what we do there is we do all the new stuff and that'll include anything up to the day before. Um, and then based on available time, we try to always choose about three, what we call hot topics, things that we're running into in practice that um, we feel like we need to cover. This year, of course, there's a brand new S Corporation basis form 7203. Most people didn't even know it's there, it's brand new. We're gonna make sure that's part of the, the discussion showing you how to fill that one out. Uh, in a one day course, we don't really get into anything past that in that update uh -huh. course, but it's a great right. course. So, right. and then, and then uh, we've got a 1040, 1041 1040. with you. Okay, well, Bill Leonard does the 1041. I have no clue what he does in that class. Okay. Uh, he's, he talks about dead people and how to do their tax returns. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's all I got. I take it about every three years because uh, all joking aside, Bill and I are best friends, but he is the sharpest guy I know when it comes to estates and trusts. And every year I take it thinking, you know, I, I don't know. And then it's, oh gosh, I didn't know that. Or even worse, he says something and I get the same moment that many of us have, which is, oh man, I've been doing that wrong. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we're all there on that. Yep. Then, then what else? So 1040, is that the other 1040s. Yeah, 1040s will be coming up too. Well, the 1040s, we actually, I will start writing in about, uh, let's see, today is August 12th. Uh, it's funny, most of our competitors have already got their 1040 manuals completed. I know because I used to write them for them. Uh, I don't even start our writing until uh, a week from tomorrow, the very end uh -huh. of August. And I pretty much, if I'm not speaking, lock myself in a room. Um, we've added a couple of things, you know, because we don't have a technology class, I've got a short chapter on just the latest software. I'll tell you, one of the biggest questions we're getting is, how do I get a hold of the IRS? Uh, what do I do if I've got a, a letter and I can't get anybody to answer? We've got the software solutions this year. We're, we'll throw that in. So it's, we're making sure we do the estate trust update, 1040s, of course, it changes daily. Uh, right. And then uh, I'm throwing a little bit of that technology. Now, I don't, I don't want to tell anybody it's an hour or even a half hour. 
at 15 or 20 minutes of four or five good topics. And then um, we believe, maybe we'll know more by 1040. One of the reasons I'm holding off is so I can get a little better feel on where Congress is going. You know, we got the things that are out there. I can't really discuss them until we see where it's going. But right. uh, I don't wrap our 1040 manual up until October 15th, literally 10 days before the first seminar, because I wanted to make sure we got all that latest stuff. Uh, sure. I don't know anybody that waits that long, but it, it gives us the ability to give everybody that you know, all those really hot things that they want to hear. That's what we're going for. So sure. uh, 1040, I get excited about every year. And um, we're excited about it again this year. Thank uh -huh. goodness we don't have all the, the law changes, at least right now that we had this last year. The bad news is, as I've already said, I can think of four things we're going to have to closely question the client about. we got the third stimulus check. We're going to talk about that. We have mm -hmm. the advanced child care credit. That's going to be a nightmare on its own. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah. The unemployment issue continues. Um, mm -hmm. And one of the really weird things on the unemployment issue, even if you got a client that only got one check of unemployment, that's going to make an incredible difference if they're getting their insurance on the exchange because they're treated as if they have uh, no income and they get the max credit. Now, that's good news for us preparers because that'll get us some bigger refunds. But that's some of the hidden things that people don't even realize those things are there. But we're excited to talk about that stuff. Sure. And then I'm assuming you're going to hit the cryptocurrency issue this year. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was going to be hot. Um, I understand they want everybody to be reporting their cryptocurrency. We're, uh, we have a special chapter on it that we're going to actually expand this year as much as I dislike it or everybody does. Well, it's kind of being forced down your and my and everybody's throat. And we've right. got to talk about that in depth. And we will be talking about it in depth. Uh-huh. Now, um, are you going to be covering the ERC in any of these update classes? Uh, actually, the uh, ERC we talk about in the business in depth in the what's new. Um, and I have even the changes that occurred literally yesterday. Uh, we have to stay on top of that. There is a chance right now the ERC goes for the rest of 2021. There is some discussion of dropping it at the end of the third quarter. And we'll be talking about that. But yeah, it's in the business class. If they make further changes, it'll be in the 1040 class too. Would I, I can't say that yet. If, right. they don't, if they don't do anything else, it'll be in the business class because it's there no matter what. We've got it in the business right. Okay. And uh, as far as the 1040 class, is there any other hot topics that you know of right now that, that you will be addressing? Well, I'm not asking you go in depth with them, but maybe you can just give us some, some insight. We believe, Bill, there's going to be a bunch of retirement changes. Most people read the press about the big tax changes. What they don't realize is we've already had a bill work through one of the the parts of the United States Congress on major retirement changes on rollovers, Roths, and IRAs. We believe that'll pass because it's not getting the political pushback, you know, that the, the bigger bills do. Sure. Uh, if that occurs, that's going to have to be a big portion because it'll affect us this year. Uh, the changes okay. they're talking about will affect us there. Uh, so we'll, we'll be doing the retirement stuff. Um, but I don't, if, if nothing changes, we'll cover it. If something big changes, we're going to hit that one really hard. Uh -huh. Um, I'm in discussion right now with the other speakers with, um, the potential estate tax changes that are coming. Uh, we think we're going to have to talk a little bit about estate tax, not depth. It's a 1040 class, but from the point of view of the average American, I'll give you an idea if the proposals get past the House and the Senate, and I'll know within a month, uh -huh. um, every single person that comes to your class will be affected by it because the president's plan in the Senate bill is to drop the estate exclusion all the way down to a million bucks. In Maryland, you add your house, your retirement, and your life insurance, you got a federal estate tax issue. So right. if this goes further, that will be a portion of our discussion. I don't see that we have a choice. We've got to. So uh, uh, I, whatever you think, you know, I don't try to do the politics. We just talk about the rules. But, no, you know, I understand. Talk, yeah. Right. I got you. 
Um, of course, then you I'm have sure, your normal compliance and changes. We always will cover all those things, of course. Sure. And I'm sure Bill Leonard will talk about the changes in the estate rules if, if that's what comes along. Yeah, he did the estate class here yesterday for Indiana. And uh, I even said, Bill, is there enough that's changed? And he, he said, yeah, just only about the first half of the class. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm glad I don't do those. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah, he gets them all. Uh-huh. All right. Well, do you have anything else that you want to share with us? If not, we'll wrap this up for today. No, we've had our first round of questions from Maryland that uh, we threw into the Q&A a couple of them this week. And, you know, that's uh, it's not going where we want, but it, we'll get there. So we'll get uh, there. ask those questions through uh, through Walter at the Society and join through the society at that discount rate. Uh, the questions are great. The answers are better. And sometimes they're right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Bob. And we look forward to seeing you here in Maryland this winter. All right. I appreciate it, Bill. Take thank care. you so much. See you yep. next time. Bye.